Meghan Markle allegedly accused Victoria Beckham of indiscretion according to Tom Bower's new bombshell book. Mr. Bower's new book Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors is about the ongoing rift between the royal family. The book was published on Thursday and prior to its publication had already caused some uproar with claims that Prince Harry's friends disliked the Duchess and that she acts with an air of pomposity and self-importance. Such claims have already been debunked prior to the book's release including by journalist Sam Kashner, who felt that his interactions with Meghan had been misrepresented by Mr. Bauer. Mr. Kashner, who interviewed the Duchess of Sussex for Vanity Fair in 2017 prior to her wedding to Prince Harry, said that she is extraordinary. Following its publication, the book claims that the couple were obsessed with reading media articles about them, and this made them turn on close friends. Mr. Bauer alleges that Meghan and Harry were addicted to negative coverage of them and that the couple spent their evenings scouring the media for new stories. According to the largely discredited book, the royal couple attempted to figure out which friends were leaking stories about them after they concluded it could not be anyone else. As reported in The Mirror, Mr. Bauer wrote in this book, Harry and Meghan were shackled. Every night they scoured the internet to read the newspaper reports and the trolls' postings on social media. Irrationally, they grouped the two together and fed each other's frenzy about the media. He added, convinced that as champions of goodness they were being persecuted by mendacity and racism, they felt victimized by the mildest criticism. The book claims that the Duchess of Sussex suspected Victoria Beckham of leaking stories to the press despite the Beckhams being close friends of the royal family for years. Mr. Bauer claimed. Harry's instability fed Meghan's fears that friends were leaking stories to the media. In particular, she suspected Victoria Beckham of indiscretion. Harry called David Beckham to repeat the accusation. Outraged, Beckham's truthful denials damaged their relationship. Meghan Markle accused Victoria Beckham of indiscretion, resulting in an awkward call between Prince Harry and David, a royal author has claimed. In his new book Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, Tom Bauer explains that the Sussexes became addicted to the negative press coverage surrounding them. He claims they spent every evening scrolling through social media and newspaper articles written about them. He suggests Meghan and Harry were convinced that their friends were leaking stories about them to the press, and they were desperately trying to figure out who it could be. In the new book, which was released today, he writes, Harry and Meghan were shackled. Every night they scoured the internet to read the newspaper reports and the trolls' postings on social media. Irrationally, they grouped the two together and fed each other's frenzy about the media. Convinced that as champions of goodness they were being persecuted by mendacity and racism, they felt victimized by the mildest criticism. Harry's instability fed Meghan's fears that friends were leaking stories to the media. In particular, she suspected Victoria Beckham of indiscretion. Harry called David Beckham to repeat the accusation. Outraged, Beckham's truthful denials damaged their relationship. The Beckhams are close to both Princes William and Harry thanks to their work with the FA, and the couple attended both royal weddings. Written without the cooperation of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, Revenge been described as the book Meghan would have been dreading. Extracts published ahead of the release include a number of shock claims, including that Meghan threw a cup of tea in the air during a royal tour, and the Queen was said to be pleased Meghan couldn't attend Prince Philip's funeral. It's since been reported that David and Harry had an awkward encounter during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last month. A source told The Sun in 2020, he quickly put Harry right, and the two men agreed to move on, but it certainly made things awkward for a while. The former footballer still has an immense amount of respect for the Queen, however, as he gave a gushing speech at the Jubilee.